Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Dan Perez. I'm a commander here with the Slings Police Department. And I'm going to give you some information on what occurred uh, this morning. So I've got some, uh, some notes here that I'll be referring to. So at about five minutes after midnight this morning, one of our officers attempted to pull over a vehicle for traffic violations on Airport Boulevard near Skyway Boulevard. The vehicle was a maroon Honda Civic registered to an address here in Salinas. The vehicle was occupied by at least three suspects. When the officer attempted to make the stop, the driver did not yield and accelerated away. A high-speed vehicle pursuit ensued through several streets in East Salinas. At one point on Cross Avenue, the officer observed one of the passengers lean out of the vehicle window and fire several times at the officer. The officer was not hit and was not able to return fire. The patrol car he was driving <clears throat> did sustain some damage during the incident. And right now we are actively investigating the cause and the extent of that damage now. Several bullet casings were recovered on Cross Avenue. We're asking anyone who lives in that area and on that street that if they find damage that they believe is consistent with, with uh, bullet, bullets being fired or any evidence that, that they may think may be related to this case, to please give us a call so that we can come out and evaluate that. The pursuit continued off of Cross Avenue and eventually terminated in Natividad Creek Park when the suspect vehicle collided with a tree. All three suspects fled the vehicle. The driver was immediately taken into custody a short distance away from the suspect vehicle. He is a 25-year-old male. He is on parole and a known gang member. The two passengers fled into the nearby creek bed and heavy brush. A perimeter was established by the Salinas Police Department and its officers with assistance from the Monterey County Sheriff's Department and the California Highway Patrol. They sent each sent, agency sent several officers to assist. The Salinas Police Department SWAT team was activated and a police canine was called in to assist with the search. After a short time, the Salinas Police canine found the second suspect hiding under some brush in the creek bed and apprehended him. He was taken into custody by the SWAT team. He was identified as a 27-year-old male who was on probation and also a known gang member. Unfortunately, the third suspect is still outstanding. He is believed to have broken the perimeter before it was established. He is described as, as a Hispanic male, late teens to early 20s, wearing a black hooded sweatshirt. He is considered armed and dangerous, and we are also, also asking anyone who have who may have any information on his identity or his whereabouts to please contact the Salinas Police Department. Two firearms were recovered from the suspect vehicle and we are currently in the process of gathering evidence from those firearms. The search was called off at about 7.30 hours this morning. We were in constant contact with school officials to ensure student safety and that they were kept out of the area uh, before school started. The pursuit lasted approximately five minutes for this entire event to unfold until the vehicle crashed. And um, I'll take some questions now if you have, that's a, a short version of what happened. So if the suspect isn't in the immediate area, how are you going about expanding your search for this person? In many ways, uh, we're examining it, evidence from the vehicle. We're examining, uh, obviously interviewing the two that we have in custody and there's a bunch of different avenues that we have through historical documents that we have here that we're looking at to try to establish uh, not only his identity but his whereabouts. Okay. And what's the penalty for shooting at an officer? I'm not sure what the penalty is uh, that's going to be up to the courts, but the suspects are being charged with attempted murder on a, on a peace officer, weapons and gang violations, and felony evading. Okay. And do you have mug shots available for the two arrested? They will probably be available later this afternoon or early evening, but because this is an ongoing investigation, and we're trying to get as much information as we can to, to uh, identify that third suspect. That's uh, the reason we're not 
releasing their information uh, and identity right now. Thank you. We're following up. I know you had mentioned that the officer didn't shoot back. Is there a reason why he was driving? Could it shoot? Yeah, or? absolutely. Uh, the officer was in, involved in a high-speed pursuit. He's trying to um, safely pursue this vehicle while driving it and, and putting out information to, to backup units and, and uh, radio dispatch who were coming to his aid. So he's got his hands full and he was unable to, uh, to re-engage the suspects. What were top speeds, do you know? Uh, I can only go by uh, estimates of the officers who were responding, but uh, I did see some documentation that they thought the vehicle was traveling in the area of about 65 miles an hour on city surface streets. We heard on the scanner someone was bit. Was there a police dog? Or you said there was a police dog involved. Was one of the suspects bit? Yes, ma'am. Uh, that's what I was, when I referred to the, the, the Salinas Police canine, off, uh, canine as having apprehended the suspect. He did uh, locate and bite the suspect on the leg. The, sus the suspect was challenged by officers, given plenty of opportunities to surrender. He chose not to. The canine was sent in and apprehended. I know you mentioned that you guys are still trying to investigate what's happening, but just in Watertown, Massachusetts, there was an incident where, you know, the two suspects started shooting at an officer. Is this something, I, I might maybe totally off the top topic, but is this encouraging people to go out and just start shooting at police officers? Uh, I, I couldn't speculate on that. 